So instead of returning an array of results, what we're now going to look at is how to return just one item. But before that, I want to just quickly cover something. So in the last challenge, we looked at filtering by name and age, but we didn't look at how we can filter by items being in an array, like this favorite foods. And I'll show you how that works. So again, you execute the find command on the model and inside it, um, let's say we're looking for favorite food containing particular items. So you put the name of the field again, favorite foods like this. And inside this, you give it an object. And as a first argument, you put this dollar sign and then put all in. So this is like a special condition. And as a second argument, so let's say we want um, to return this uh, Lucy right here who likes prawns and lobster. So the way we can do this is in here where we have this all thing, we can put prawns and lobster like this. And what this will do is it'll, re it'll look through the favorite foods um, field of all of these records and it will look at the ones that have all of these right here. So all of prawns and lobster. And then what we can do once again is we can create a function here that takes in um, error and data and if error, we can do uh, console.log the error and else we can do console.log and then the data. So let's try running that and see what happens. And yeah, it'll take a while probably. Okay, so we can see what it's done is it looked through the favorite foods of all of these and it's looked for the ones that contain both prawns and lobster and you can add as many of these as you want and it's returned just this Lucy right here that has the prawns and lobster inside it. Now if I just change this to just have prawns inside it and I uh, restart it and if we wait for it to run again Yeah, it sometimes takes quite a while to do things. So we can see that now we have both Jessica and Lucy have been returned because they both have the favorite foods array containing the prawns. So yeah, once again, you can specify as many arguments in here as you want. Now let's say you don't want the array and you just want to return the first match. So you just want one item. Since this is an array right here, what we can do is we can simply just return the first result. So we can put data zero like this. And if I save this and um, restart this, um, what will hopefully happen is that instead of returning an array, it'll just return the first match as an object. So yeah, as you can see here, we've got Jessica returned because Jessica was the first match and we have just an object right here that we can work directly with. Um, an alternate way to do this is to use the find one method on the model that they've specified right here. So the way you do that is you would just swap this out, this find for find one, and then you can simply just log the data in its raw format. And find one makes sure that it automatically just returns the zero of index, I think, of the array of results. So all the time, see, you'll only get this one result back. So in terms of the challenge, uh, what they want us to do here is, I'm just going to comment this out so it doesn't interfere. Um, they want us to have fill in this function, find one by food right here. And what this will take in is it'll take in a food here as a string. And what we want to do is return all the records where the favorite foods array contains that food string. So what we can start off with doing is... Um, Inside this, you, we can run the find one, since we're just returning one item here, that is what they've asked for. Yeah, find just one person. So we can call the uh, find one method on the person. And inside this, we can give it our query. And we want the favorite foods array, so favorite foods. And again, we give it an object because we're matching in an array. And inside this, we can put all. And all we want here is the food right here. So this is this will just be a string that specifies one food item and we just want to find all the favorite all the entries of the favorite foods containing just that. So we can put food right here. And once again we have a callback function where it takes in an error 
I always get those the wrong way around, an error and a data. And once again, if there was an error, we want to log the error to find out what happened. Actually, I'm going to specify this a bit clearer here. I'm just going to change this to maybe a result because essentially what it does is it returns one result. So if there was an error, we want to log the error. Otherwise, um, we want to call this done function again. And remember that uh, the done function, uh, what it does is it takes in an error and some data. And if it's an error, it returns the error and it doesn't proceed. And it, we want to make sure that it doesn't do this part right here and it actually looks at our data. So the way you would do that is just put null as the error and then give it the data, oops, which is our results right there. So to summarize once more, what this will do is it'll find um, all the results that have this food string that this function takes in inside the favorite foods array, which we've done here. And then this find one, make sure it filters it down to just the first result. And if there was an error in this, it'll log the error. Otherwise, it'll give the result to the done function as a second argument so it can be tested. So that should be everything for this. So what we can do now is just copy the live app link and paste it into here and then try submitting it. And yeah, that's worked.